Hello everybody, it's Shayna with Robinson Repurposing. And if you're new here, what I like to do is thrift flips, repurposed furniture, Dollar Tree DIYs, all that kind of stuff on a budget. So if you like that, definitely stick around, subscribe to my channel. And let's go ahead and get into today's video. Okay, so I have this candlestick I got at an antique store for $6. And you can see there it was kind of white and streaky. Um, that's because I spilled my paint out in the garage. And then I decided to just kind of slap it on a few things that I had sitting out there. That I knew I was going to paint white. So anyway, I put it on this and then this other thing you'll see here in a minute. Um, so yeah, that's why it was like white like that. And then I decided to go in with the color putty here. This is just the color putty by Dixie Belle, like I said. And I just very like i guess lightly put this on and i didn't worry about full coverage because i wanted some of the white to show through because what i was going for here was kind of like a i wanted this to mimic like raw wood distressed candlesticks like i have one actually on my shelf i have one in my house um and i was kind of wanting to mimic that uh so that's i think it turns out really cute i don't know if i achieved exactly what i was going for but I still really like the way it looks. So anyway, like I said, just very lightly slap on that putty color. And then I took some of this dark wax that I had, this antiquing wax, and I just lightly dry brushed it wherever I thought would look nice. Kind of like on the raised parts, like you'll see right there. And then I, I wiped it off with my paper towel some and then I also just kind of blended it in with my paintbrush some you know I just kind of played around with this whole thing until I got it how I liked it and then also here in a second after I get that wax and everything where I wanted it I took some sandpaper and I just tried to distress up like some of the raised areas I didn't do that very much it just didn't really need that very much but yeah that's what I did there Okay, and then here's a quick look at the candlestick and how it turned out on my shelf. And I'll show you guys all the stuff at the end, but like I said, here's just a quick look at it. I absolutely love this candlestick. I think it looks just like my other one from Hobby Lobby, like the same style. Okay, and like I had said a little bit ago, I spilled my paint in the garage, so I just put it on a few things that I knew I was going to paint white. This here, um, I, I'm going to keep white, so... I tried to get it a lot better coverage on this one. Um, it ended up taking, I think this took like three coats. So you'll see here, there was the one from the garage. And then I brought it in and I think I did, I did about two more here with, with it inside. And that color, the color I'm using here is Cotton by Dixie Belle. So it's like a really pure white. Um, and then I also needed to mention that this thing was, I think it was $4.99 or $5.99 at the thrift store. So yeah, and then I took sandpaper and just sanded up the edges. I wanted this piece to have just a just a simple distressed look to it, not nothing too crazy. So then I just took two, um, what are these called? Two things of greenery from Dollar Tree. So two dollars. So I don't know. This was under ten dollars. This whole thing. Okay, and then I didn't get a chance to stage this before I did this voiceover and finished this video. So you'll have to go follow me on Instagram. It's just Shana Robinson repurposing with dots in between, and you'll be able to see it over there. Okay, and then moving on to this thing. This is super simple, um, like so simple. I just painted it same process as the little white pitcher. I just painted it and distressed the edges. And then I wanted to cover in these holes because I know these these kind of old shelving things are kind of outdated with their hearts. I like hearts though, personally. Um, so this one doesn't bother me too much. So I took that lacy ribbon and just hot glued and stapled it to the back of this piece. Okay, and then here's a look at how it turned out. I just hung it in my entryway underneath my little R that I have hanging up. And I think it's super cute there. It's just, I think this was a, the lace was just a fun touch. Okay, and then moving on to this little clock. Before I even get started on this, I want to mention you guys, look at the little spiders you can see crawling across the deck. Table. Ugh, yucky. I hate spiders. <laughs> anyway, I smushed them. I didn't show that part, but anyway, I got them. But anyway, I just took my white cotton colored um, paint and painted this outer part. Then I took putty on this inner part, this gold part, and I painted it over. 
and I just kept doing this back and forth until I got the coverage that I wanted. I think it just took it just took two coats, um, two coats of the white, two coats of the putty. But like you'll see here, I just go back and forth with it for a second because I I get some white on the putty and such and so forth. So. And as you can see there, I just blow dry it between uh, just to speed up the process. And then I took the leftover antique wax that was on my little brush there, and I just dry brushed it across the whole uh, clock. And then I just put that little plastic face back on. And there you have it. This is like so much cuter than it was before. Okay, and then moving on to this last one, this little blue box was five dollars, I believe, like three ninety nine or four ninety nine, I think at the thrift store um and then like if i was doing this to sell i would definitely have sanded off this front side you'll see here in a second that has flowers on it because you you can till still tell that those are on there so i definitely would have sanded that see like right there you can see that they're there but i'm just gonna flip it around and have that be the back side of the box so anyway a same process as like the candlestick earlier in this video i just took the putty and the cotton and I just dry brushed them back and forth until I got this how I liked it and then I also took wax at the end and just kind of dry brushed it on the corners and everywhere okay and then today's video is part of thrift flip Thursday challenge it's a 10 below challenge that Savannah from Savvy Crafts with Savannah and I host here on YouTube it's just an open playlist so if you do thrift flips and you want to like include your video in our playlist definitely message one of us and we'll get you added to the playlist and also we pick a new co-host each month so this me this month's co-host will be linked down in the description box we usually add you in the graphic but uh this was a busy month for both of us so anyway we normally add that like i said to the graphic but it, so if you want to be a co-host definitely join our group to start participating in the challenge and all the things and it's every second thursday of every month but yeah okay we'll get back into this craft here so i just continued on painting this box i used wax on the edges all the things and i didn't use any sandpaper to distress this because obviously that blue would have came through and we don't want that okay and so for the rest of this i wanted to explain to you guys my thought process on this this little box here um, I got this and I, my first thought obviously was a planner. Like I could put greenery in it and whatnot. Well, then when I was down in my craft room, I was like, ah, no, you know, that's what everybody does with these. So anyway, I found these candlesticks at the thrift store and I had them down in my craft room too. And I'm like, well, how cute would it be? Cause I was like, what else can I put in this box? You know, I was trying to think of another thing to like put in the box that would be cute. Cause you know, you see people put like spindles in boxes sometimes or like, I don't know. Anyway, so I was like, candlesticks. How cute would this be? So, I, And I have all of these candlesticks. So I just got out that floral foam stuff and I stuck it down in there. And I didn't glue it in um, because I didn't know for sure if I wanted to keep this permanent or not, you know. But I stuck it down in there and kind of angled it so it would stay like stuck in there. And then I just took my scissors and poked holes in the foam. And this worked out okay. Um, I probably would use that other kind if I was going to do this again. Anyway, it works out okay. And then I take this, um, sorry, I'm saying I'm a lot. I take this stuff here that kind of reminds me of raffia, like hay, hay bale looking stuff. I don't know what, I don't know what it's called, but anyway, I stuck that down in there and I just got that in there and let made it look full. You know, obviously this is not going to be a functional piece with candle. I'm not going to light this. It's just a decor piece. So if you make this, don't, I wouldn't recommend lighting it. <laughs> So anyway, I just got all that stuff arranged, got it like poked down in there, and then I trimmed it up and all that. And I wanted the candles to be like kind of in a random formation. Like I didn't want them to all be like in a line in this box. I didn't want them to be tipping over like they kind of are. So I fixed that part here in a minute, but I did want them to be like random. And I also wanted them to be like different heights. So that's why I stuck a couple of them like down into the bottom instead of into the foam. I wish I would have had some tall sticks along with short sticks and then stuck them in here. I think that would have been super cute. But here's a look at it. 
Here's a close-up look at it. And then here in a second, I'm going to show you guys the full look of it on my shelf and all my styled, all this stuff styled on my shelf. And some of this stuff on my shelf is from last my last thrift flip video. So if you want to see that, I'll link it in the top. And if you all made it to the very end of this video, let me know in the comments and leave me a money emoji. And as usual, thank you all so much for watching.